Danny Bader here, just dropping in, getting ready to head out to San Francisco for a few workshops this week. But just wanted to drop in because today is National Mental Health Day, mental um, wellness, well-being, all these terms that we're hearing an awful lot of. And the definition that the World Health Organization gives is uh, one's ability, one's awareness of their abilities, their ability to cope with the normal stresses of life and to work productively to contribute to their communities. So that's the state we want to operate from and there are certainly a lot of challenges. So I would encourage you to think of yourself first, you know, what's your mental state of health and take a look around. There's probably somebody in your life that needs you more than you're showing up for them because our support for one another is, is, um, is huge in elevating our mental health. Sometimes we just need to talk with people, our friends and our family. So a couple of things that have helped me when I get into that funky state, and it's been, um, it's been a rough year. Lost some people that I really love. Um, business was slower in the beginning of the year, coming back now, so the stresses of life. Um, a couple things that I'll do, number one, is to journal in the morning, really try to get my thoughts down so I can be more aware of them, and just say, okay, this is not the right way to be thinking, so how can I kind of shift my thoughts? The beauty of that meditation and journaling for me is that I realize that I am not my thoughts, but rather I'm the thinker of them. So see, a lot of our thoughts just run in that unconscious mind and we go day to day to day to day. When well, you really look and go, wow, these are my thoughts and I'm having them, so I'm in control, well, then, then how can we shift them? Even when you're going through a difficult time, you know, my fourth book is called Taking the Shit Out of the Show, which is really about getting to a, a good state of mental health. Um, is to realize that even when you're going through those difficult times, you can still hold positive thoughts of moving through them, vision to see the other side of it. You can slow down and say, okay, I need some help. I need professional help or I need, I need my friends, I need my family. So journaling meditation is really good to, to become more aware of those thoughts. Um, it's also good, as I said, to hang with your family and friends more often. Read really good information. Um, listen to YouTube videos or, or some other information, podcasts. You want to make sure that you're putting good things into our head, right? Because they're going to contribute to how we're thinking about what we're thinking about. And then for me, it ultimately comes down to, one of my mantras is, um, Iagbo, I-A-G-B-O, it's all going to be okay. And it's all going to be okay, I believe, when you have a faith in something bigger, God, Jesus, because when you realize that ultimately we have that energy of love, that God that's here to support us, we can move through the difficult times. So happy, happy National Wellness, National Health Day. I wish you all the best and, and trust. Trust that um, if you are struggling in some way, get the professional help that you might need and also trust that you can get through it. The human spirit is hardly human and it is tremendously resilient. Peace.